This is an urgent message from Mackinac Mill Creek Camping. Myself and the other campground owners felt like the rug was pulled out from underneath us. It was a bit of sticker shock for Vince Rogala, the general manager and co-owner of Mackinac Mill Creek Camping. It's got a notice late in November of last year that our membership was going up and if we wanted to participate in the 2018 marketing program that we'd need to pay this new fee. In Vince's case it added up to a five digit increase. Last year it was $500, this year it's over $10,000 for me to be a member of the Mackinac Area Visitors Bureau. Michigan's politicians, led by Senator Wayne Schmidt, are making a sneaky last-minute lame duck move to shore up a flawed tax law, currently being used to harm small businesses like ours. Senate Bills 703 to 707 don't fix the existing law's faults. It only strengthens the hotel lobby's grip on millions of your tax dollars. How does this harm small businesses? In communities, where a few local hotel owners have a monopoly over the local visitors bureau, the law gives them the legal right to tax you for money that they can use to muscle out other small businesses that they see as competition. Is this really a thing? Yes. Right now, for example, this law allowed our local tourist bureau to increase Mill Creek's annual membership fee from $500 a year to over $10,000. Of course, all three local family-owned campgrounds found these huge increases unaffordable. Well, isn't my tax money supposed to be used to help the entire community? After all, it's called the Tourism Marketing Act. Nope. The hotel lobbyists did a good job years ago, but making sure that money is only legally required to promote the hotel industry. Visitor bureaus use this law to put heads in beds, also known as dollars in hotel owner pockets. And local visitor bureaus are not required to promote restaurants or gift shops, water parks, golf courses, historic parks, or campgrounds like ours, unless the hotel owner controlled visitor bureau deems it beneficial to their hotel business. Isn't there a state office with oversight or control that you can report grievances to? Not really. This law was set up nearly 40 years ago without any real governmental oversight. When we suggested to Senator Wayne Schmidt, the sponsor of this bill and our local senator, that when our government imposes a tax, it should have some type of supervision in place. Senator Schmidt, who coincidentally worked in the hotel industry prior to serving in the Senate, seemed disinterested. Can't you just not join and avoid paying? Nope. Any lodging business with 10 or more rooms is required to collect and pay the room tax. Mill Creek is required by this law to pay over $25,000 for its cabin rentals, and now our $500 campground membership fee has been increased to $10,000. Opting out would give them exactly what they want, making their competition campgrounds invisible on the number one ranking website for our area's information. How can you help? Well, this bill has already passed Michigan Senate, so we're asking for you to contact your House representative by email, phone, or both. You really can make a difference by letting your representative know what you think.